hello earth signs okay this is um mid month energy check for you okay it's a love tarot reading and i'm going to do it for uh, a separate spread for taurus virgo and capricorn okay and with mercury turning uh, direct in a few days i'm just going to see how the energies have played out in the mercury retrograde period and what's the current energy right now with respect to partnerships okay so taurus virgo capricorn okay i'm going to use the lights here tarot there's reversals in this deck and uh, I'm going to clarify with the rider weight. There is reversals in this deck. And I'm going to just um, pull out an outcome for you. Okay. Using the everyday tarot here. Okay. So let's see. Taurus. Taurus. Virgo. Capricorn. So we'll start with Taurus right now. So I'm focusing on Taurus. Taurus. Sun, Moon and Rising. This is a collective reading and it's also a general reading. If you take whatever resonates with you and uh, leave the rest, okay? So Taurus, with Uranus in your own sign, I think you could be having a lot of changes in your personality, dealing with relationships and... Uh, Especially foreign uh, matters could be a very, very uh, important thing for you if you are in a long distance relationship or an online relationship. Seven of Pentacles reversed here, okay? I'm not taking the bottom of the deck today, okay? I'm just going to pull out four cards for yourself, okay? Four cards for your side and four cards for your person's energy here, okay? So the first card for you is the Queen of Wands, wow! So Taurus men, you could be dealing with a fire sign. She's a Sag for me. Could be an Aries or a Leo too. Okay. Six of Cups. Someone from your past. Okay. This person could be uh, a childhood friend. An ex-partner. Or this could be a friendship too. Okay. Seven of Wands. Okay. Either you're standing up for this person or they're very fiery, passionate and you're blocking them. Or if they want to get back together, especially if they came into your life. This reading will resonate mostly for people that got back with their exes or someone came back into your life or you broke up during this eclipse energy. Okay, this reading can play out for you. Empress. Oh God, that's Taurus for me. Libra. An heiress woman. Okay, so this is an heiress. A very strong heiress. That could be your mother of the child or this could be someone that is very, very nurturing, ready to settle down or someone very rich. Um, this could be even someone that is potentially, for me, this feels like a third party. I don't know, I'm itching. Is she a third party? I think she's trying to seduce you, especially if this is someone from your past, okay? They're trying to seduce you back into their life. This was that happening, I think, during this mockery. Retrocate for you. Or if you do not have someone like this, Taurus, expect someone to come after the Mercury turns direct for you. We'll see. The Queen of Wands here. Page of Cups, yeah. New love or apology or even someone that is very immature, very attractive. Six of Cups. Five of Wands. I'm going to go for one more card on the Six of Cups. Temperance reversed. Okay. So this is definitely someone you have passed an ex here. Someone that wants to rekindle relationship. Seven of Wands. You're blocking them. Queen of Swords. Wow. Definitely. This person could be very, very persuasive. Very, very straightforward. Maybe if they want to date you. You are trying to block them or they are trying to uh, be very, very communicative, uh, like directly approaching you, standing up for themselves. The Empress. Wow, the Emperor. Uh -huh, this reading is complicated. The Emperor to the Empress. This is definitely a marital couple or someone that you were in a relationship before, okay? But are you still in a relationship? Is this another woman? When I pulled out the Empress, I told you she is another woman, right? So Taurus, you are on board. You are Taurus man. If you are married and you hooked up with an ex, your partner could be pissed right now. Especially if the Empress is a Libra here. 
I don't think this empress is the queen of wands. This is someone from your past, an ex-lover that turned into your life, which could have caused some friction in your marriage if you're married. Okay? Let me pull out the energy for this one before even telling you. Yeah. It feels like a strong Aries woman that is trying to get you back or approach you when you're married or when you're in a commitment. Okay, this could be even a commitment that is still in play. Especially if you're a committed Taurus man, be aware of your exes coming into your life right now. Six of Pentacles in reverse. We'll see what the other person's energy is. Six of Wands, okay, an attention seeker. Again, a fire. Nine of Cups, okay, reverse summon. Five of Wands again, definitely. Especially if you're a married Four of Pentacles, yeah. You, you should be, do not give attention or help someone out monetarily. Reject this person and do not try to fall for people that are approaching you right now Taurus especially Taurus men if you are a Taurus woman in a relationship with a man okay be aware that there is an other woman that is trying to get your man's attention okay they could be here for some monetary reason especially when you were in a long term relationship and uh, you were an ex and now they see you doing good at uh, work or if they, they feel that you are uh, rich enough to help them out monetarily. There's some energy that's that's like someone is asking you for help suddenly. Yeah, ten of pentacles. This is definitely a marriage in place. Okay. So six of wands. What's the attention? What's this glory? Especially if you have a business and you have an wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay. Someone is trying to get your attention monetarily. Okay. This person wants your money or they want to join the business or do business together with you or join your company something like that nine of cups page of pentacles definitely monetary okay definitely if they want to work if they want to have uh, some kind of um, monetary tie up with you that's why they're coming back into your life taurus okay if your business owners beware that um, your ex, uh, your partner's ex could come back into the life asking for some money, credit or a job to, okay, five of wands, king of swords reversed, okay. So if you are legally tied up, okay, and if you think that uh, this uh, giving, your, giving your ex some attention or some position in the business, uh, your office, or a work or a job or money money could lead to legal issues i think you need to stay out of this taurus okay four of pentacles hold your money back okay do not give do not help oh, that's what i'm getting do not help yeah seven of greed money okay someone is uh, maybe they are trying to settle down and they are trying to make a call for you i'm going to ask for what is this page of cups and the queen of wands Magician reverse. I had magician reversed in the bottom of the deck, okay, but I don't know if I have it right now. The magician, this is definitely a manipulator, a sweet talker, okay. She could be an heiress or a Saj woman, okay. Be careful, Taurus, okay. This person is trying to manipulate you, trying to seduce you to get something out of uh, greed, money, a job. Clarify the Queen of Swords here. The seven of wands, yeah. This person, seven of wands, and the seven of wands. I think this person could either warn you or she is not talking to you or she is trying to uh, block this person, asking you to block or she is blocking you. The empress. The empress and the emperor. What, what is their situation? Three of wands, yeah. I think you have a future together. You have, you are planning to either, you are waiting for your ships to come in. The king of wands reversed. One more, four of pentacles reversed, okay. So, king to the queen of wands here. Okay. Three of cups reversed. Okay. There is an another spin on this story. Okay. If, especially if you are a Taurus woman. If you have a fire in your chart. Okay. And now the Taurus man is about being uh, uh, responsible, being... Uh, 
uh, not giving a money uh, getting monetary link up with someone else okay that is for the taurus man taurus woman if you have fire in your chart and you're trying to get back your ex especially when they have another woman okay i think this king of wands if they were a, if they were a player if they used you or if do you, you were uh, trying to um reconcile with them they have a partner okay that partner is a libra especially if you are a fire sign couple with earth in your chart like you are a, a you are a sagittarius with taurus in your chart and this person could be a leo with uh, with um, uh, aries or taurus in their chart okay so this is like this is like a fire sign i feel like the empress and the emperor emperor is a divine feminine and a divine masculine here i don't think there is marriage involved because i don't have any marriage cards here so this is like a power couple or someone that they are meant to be with okay they are not at or uh, together with but if they were uh, this is a someone that is raising their vibrations here so the, the queen of wands sorry the queen of swords here with the empress and the king of wands with the emperor, with the emperor is this could be a sag and a libra or a leo and a libra couple too okay this person is blocking right now because they found out the truth that there is an ex still involved in that person's life okay and maybe this person is negotiating legally right now uh, with respect to marriage or with respect to a business or with respect to a partnership that they had with you i don't think this this libra is dealing with this relationship this is if you are a long term couple and you broke up because there is someone else in the picture you are trying to get back your assets together what is the seven of cups this person has four of pentacles reverse so this person is not ready for reconciling this person has given up but there is someone that is still holding on in hopes in confusion maybe if you were agreeing to marry this person before yeah death reverse someone is holding on to the relationship okay if you are a taurus woman with fire in your chart and that the, if there was a person in your life that promised you a commitment or or a relationship if this was a long term relationship and you wanted to publicly announce that you are together or you were together the relationship broke up because they found their true match in someone else and that pissed you off and you are trying to uh you are trying to get back to this person monetarily or you are clinging on to settle uh, the amount uh, the money before they marry someone else okay if you are um a uh, taurus woman with libra in your chart libra in your chart i don't think it's a gemini or a pi libra or an aquarius i think it's a libra so if you have libra in your chart and you are a taurus you could be the one this you could be the empress and the story will resonate for you okay and let me clarify the king of swords reversed two of swords reversed yeah this is some legal choices i i don't think that's a person okay this is a legal choice here that uh, someone needs to make they are at a crossroad after being in a long term relationship and someone giving them a commitment or engaged to someone but suddenly they found the true match here and that's the reason that uh, the one person is ending a relationship and one person is not clinging on anymore they're waiting for a future with this person here and someone is still clinging on to it okay you could be anywhere in this picture right taurus okay take it as it resonates for you okay both taurus men and women let's see what's the tentative outcome ace of swords yeah the truth or cutting out of people here the king of cups okay and the lovers yeah someone has a choice with their emotional okay with their emotions okay so i think if you are a taurus man you are trying to make a choice who you connect emotionally with why you who you truly love okay because the king of wands and the queen of cups could be about only sex and uh, sometimes sex is not something that is going to be long lasting you need emotional connectivity maybe you are trying to choose the pathway which is going to give you a lot of emotional satisfaction and you have a choice to make definitely the lovers here and the two of swords here you have made a choice that you are connected with someone else more than your partner or more than with your a uh, person okay and um, if you are uh, the first person that is trying to get in uh, get in uh, back to your life okay go for the truth and if you are truly in love with this person go back or else do not go back because it's going to mess things up this could be a just a temptation your ex could just be a temptation especially if it's a fire sign okay Taurus men let's go to Virgos 
Oh, Virgos, you have, you have had a lot of partnership. Uh, you still have a lot of partnership because with Jupiter and Neptune in your seventh house of partnership, I think you could have had a lot of energy where you feel you felt like disillusioned. What you thought is not what you're getting or who you thought you married is not the person that you you wanted them to be married or you could be seeing a different version of the person you got married to so let's see Virgos I think the wheel wants to be there so I'm just going to keep the wheel there okay the wheel of fortune is here for you okay that's this means change major change in your life so let's see Virgo chariot could be dealing with a cancer or a long distance relationship three of pentacles could have been building some life with someone or a third party situation four of swords okay contemplating or uh, could be secret messages secrets a page of cups okay okay if you are married and going through some issues right now virgos your partner could not be talking to you or you are not talking to your partner now okay I'm, I'm feeling that someone has this in a long distance relationship. Sorry. Someone is in a long distance relationship. Um, and they are not talking to them. Or they are, they are keeping that a secret. I'm going to clarify. This could be you, Virgo, or that. Okay, this is not an apology. This is a new love. Uh, someone could be in a third party situation. So, chariot. Chariot. I'm going to split the deck. Chariot. Page of Pentacles. Okay, it could be a long distance. You. If you have a child together with someone and you are in a two different mindset, I think. Three of Pentacles, the Sun card. Definitely you have a child. There is a child here. The Four of Swords, Four of Wands reversed. Yeah. Page of Cups. The tower reversed. One more on the page of cups. The magician reversed. Wow, lots of majors for you. Okay. Nine of wands, yeah. I think you are or the some king of cups. Okay, it could be a Pisces. Pisces, Cancer. Pisces, I think, not Cancer or a Scorpio too. Okay, because we have the page of cups, the tower. So, Pisces, Scorpio is on board. Cancer is also on board. So, if you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this reading will resonate for you. Virgo, okay, especially Virgo woman. I think you're trying to keep your relationship in play. Especially if you are in a broken marriage or if you're not at married, but you are expecting a commitment from this person or if you are trying to... The Sun card, Eight of Wands reversed. I feel like if you are in a relationship, Virgo, this person could be at a distance from you. I don't know why the distance is coming for me. The Five of Wands, yeah. Page of Pentacles. Your spouse could have moved out or your spouse could have... Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reversed. I think... I think... The world card and the empress. Okay. Okay. Three of cups reversed. Okay. If your spouse is in a... Okay. I'm going to spin this story in two ways. Okay. If you are a Virgo in a relation... A Virgo woman in a relationship with a, a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpio, you still want to... The commitment, you still want the marriage or you still want the relationship to take place or be there. But the person, the man is out of the picture. Okay. This is only for Virgo women. 
if you have a child with this person and you are a virgo woman trying to keep your relationship stable i don't think it's happening right now either this person is at a distance or there is a distance between you two people i definitely feel there is a distance between you people either they moved out or you are in a different location you are in a different place and this person is at a different place clarify the four of wands reversed seven of you are no more going to the past especially if you are if you have broken up yeah page of swords i think you you could have been constantly spying on this person constantly trying to get back together i think it's not working okay you you the work of woman wants to get back but the man is out of the picture okay but the the world with the empress is even if you're pregnant or if you are the ex spouse the cycle is closed for you okay you have to close this cycle let's see what the work of persons uh, energy is what are they dealing with Two of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. The Death Reversed. Okay. So to be continued with the same uh, woman story here. Okay. I think you are still trying to contemplate whether to stay or to go, whether you have to attract your partner back. You are thinking overly about this ex. You are not close to cycle here. Virgo woman who has just split up from someone, a water sign. Okay. If not, if you are a Virgo man, okay. If you are a Virgo man, you could have a wife at home, or you could be dealing with someone at home and also at someone at a distance that is uh, an uh, a childhood friend. Okay. You could be. Uh, you could be. um involved with your marriage or you could have a child with your wife but it you're dealing with someone else you're holding on to a secret love or a secret uh, someone from the from a, a childhood friend i think this is a double life here two of pentacles two of pentacles yeah five of cups uh, yeah i think maybe you're contemplating too much on um missing this person okay you don't know whether to go back and stay in your relationship and work things out with this married person or you just want to start over the six of cups five of wands one more on the six of cups three of swords fell down and the fool card yeah after this argument after this third party situation breaking up Uh, thinking about the child or the child, the past with this person, memories could have been very, very heartbreaking, and you they took a leap of faith. I think okay, if this is the person you're dealing with, okay, they are still stuck on um, what you had. The six of wands here, wow, the two of swords just flew. Yeah, you're at a crossroad, and they are also at a crossroad. Lot of twos here, okay. So definitely someone, the death reverse is. they are thinking a lot about the memories i think what you had together yeah six of cups twice here yeah they are trying to get over the past year especially if you are a karmic soulmate a spouse a life partner yeah no more second chances okay especially if it's a virgo woman if you're waiting for this king of cups to come back or if you are a virgo woman do not want to go back to your king of cups here okay because you are over even though you regret what happened even though there was heartbreak you know you have a different crossroad and you want to go explore your own attention to something else or you are you are trying to get over this past year okay but the cycle is not at closed even though the world is here that that is still here so both of you are thinking in your thoughts you are still together okay so if um the married man if you are trying to keep your relationship stable if you already have a wife okay and you are committed you are in your relationship especially if you have a child uh do not talk to this long distance relationship do not uh, go back to your past person okay unnecessarily unnecessarily uh break up your marriage or put your marriage in jeopardy because this was just a person that came in to break your marriage i think or just to to cause a chaos in your life okay 
what is this five of cups hermit okay virgo that is you okay virgo try to take a step back and understand if you are already have a spouse do not jeopardize your relationship by putting a third party or don't be a player don't be a player especially if you are committed and do not give a take chances stupidly with someone from your past especially during yeah okay do not have high hopes that this will work out definitely not clarify the empress here two of swords yeah all two skate here okay two of cups was here two of swords wands here two of pentacles here and two of swords here definitely there was two people here definitely okay if you are a virgo woman with libra aries or uh, even for me the empress could be a virgo certainly nine of pentacles is we call it as a virgo card so the empress could also be a virgo so if you are a married woman <coughs> coming out of a relationship and contemplating too much on what to do you are at a crossroad you want this person to come back i think they are getting over you okay what's the outcome for uh, Virgo, ten of pentacles, yeah. Six of cups, reverse, definitely. If you are a four of cups, reject someone from your past, okay. If you or whoever, I don't care if you are a Virgo that is married and uh, cheating on uh, cheating on or, or talking to someone from recently that that is your past childhood friend, reject them. Do not accept them and stay committed to your marriage. Do not jeopardize your relationship by putting yourself unnecessarily in a third party situation. And if you are a married woman, okay, and if you're trying to uh, get uh, go back to your past, uh, that is your spouse here, okay, you will be rejected, okay. So focus on your own stability. Even if you're if you had a long term relationship with this person, if this is a spouse or someone that you don't get along with or you broke up with, and they have uh, ended commitments with you, you reject them, okay, or you will be rejected if you go back, okay. So stop. trying to go back and you need to this is the energy that you need to take up take a new leap of faith into new things okay let's go to capricorns oh capricorns for the past two weeks i've been having complicated stuff for you i hope this reading could be little bit easier for you okay capricorns because with the cancer energy With lot of planets in Cancer right now, and this is the June month with seven thousand plays. I think Capricorns are facing the heat right now. Okay, so and also this the full moon is going to happen in your um, Capricorn this month. I don't know if I, I didn't do a full moon and a new. I don't know if I'm going to do a full moon reading. I'll just check out because this month uh, the the new moon is not a new moon because it's an eclipse. But the full moon is all about culminations and endings. So. the new moon was also about endings so this month is all about endings and that's why i didn't want to because most people just want to see about new things happening and they want to start new and everything but with so much of retrograde uh, things happening it's not that easy to start new okay especially with lot of pauses with lot of lessons still stuck energy with lot of planets that's why i I'm, i don't know if i'm going to do a full moon reading okay i didn't do a new moon because it's there was nothing new in that uh, energy for us okay wow <clears throat> i said capricorn i wanted a simple reading with you i think you think that you're not going to give me one okay so two of pentacles is the bottom of the deck so let's see capis wow the queen of swords that she is libra <laughs> libra gemini aquarius strength card yeah definitely temper issues anger cut off five of pentacles recent breakup and the queen of pentacles wow this is you capricorn or this could be another woman i hope so or if you are a pissed off woman uh, who broke up recently and you're worried about getting back or you do not have the courage to go and apologize or get by, get someone back here okay you feel insecure let me let me see if this is i think this is a temper uh, someone that is very harsh with their words someone harsh cut off here and here there is a queen of pentacles five of pentacles i think these two are different energies 
there is a if you are a capricorn woman you want to go back to someone if you are a capricorn man you are dealing with a very very harsh libra okay so if not i'll see i i don't know i just tell you what i feel right uh, i feel it's a two different woman okay so definitely there was two of pentacles so capricorn man if you are you're dealing with a taurus okay taurus that wants to get into your life a libra that is pissed off with you <laughs> let's see the queen of swords knight of swords definitely a very very harsh cut off here okay a libra that is very pissed with you they this could have been a breakup or this could have been some harsh communication here the strength reverse queen of cups wow the queen is also here another queen okay um this could be someone that is very very um compassionate caring this is a pisces here okay so or this could be um someone when when there is a strength reverse i mean someone that is not taming or that is not in control of their emotions okay so this this queen of cups could be a scorpio or a pisces but this could also mean that this person could be very loving and very caring naturally but because when they are flipped right now the queen of swords reverse they are upright with the strength is reversed just maybe they they are generally very loving and caring but because of the losing their temper they you got into argument and they cut you off the five of pentacles reversed five of pentacles reversed re means yeah the strength reversed again okay so someone don't have the courage to go back or someone is so afraid of breakup that they want to go back okay the queen of pentacles in reverse three of pentacles this is the third party this is another woman okay so i'm going to i'm going to put it like this capricorn men if you if you have if you're dealing with a scorpio and a taurus woman or a pisces and a libra okay this is how it's going to be both of them have a uh, water in the chart okay both of them the rising could be different okay this could be a libra this could be a taurus okay I, a taurus or a virgo too okay so virgo libra uh, scorpio pisces okay these four signs are here okay you could be dealing with both of these people one person uh, both of them could be one person is uh cutting you off or they are not talking to you right now because they could there could have been anger issues here and this person is not having the courage to deal with the breakup and they want to get back to you okay you definitely have two women here capricorn men capricorn women okay if you are if you were in a third party situation and you know it maybe you still you found the truth about the, and that's why you broke up or you know that you are in a third party situation and you you want to get back i don't know why the five of pentacles reversed you're not dealing with this breakup situation that easily okay two of swords two of wands definitely a choice for you capricorn another two i'm telling you there is two people here for both taurus sorry okay i said taurus so this could be a taurus woman for you so capricorn men and women is dealing with third parties i think see the two of pentacles jumped out i'm telling you there is this person is giving to two situations or you are giving to two situations two two twos again two of swords yeah you are you don't know what to do which person five of swords nasty energy we don't know what to do queen of cups here definitely and queen of cups has come out reversed here okay so you are emotionally stuck high priestess at the next card is a pisces okay so maybe a five of wands definitely capricorn be aware of two people especially if both of them are scorpios okay i'm just getting it okay if it is a libra and a scorpio cusper and a taurus or a virgo with uh, with a scorpio in the chart okay it's not this could be a cusper but this could be a different rising okay virgo rising with uh, pisces energy okay i'm sorry i'm shaking the camera a lot today wow this feels like a capricorn man reading more than a capricorn woman but let's see two of pentacles chariot okay one person could be at a distance or you don't know which 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 person to choose from you have you have a major decision to make and you're contemplating on which one to choose which one to leave <laughs> ah there he is 
So if you are a Sagittarius and Capricorn cusper, this reading could play out for you. Or if you are a Capricorn woman dealing with a Sag, this reading, uh, definitely you are in denial, you are blinded, you don't know what to do. The five of swords reversed, okay. Queen of Wands, wow. So definitely there is, uh, all the queens are here. So this could be a couple, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, five of wands came again here. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords. One more on the Queen of Cups reversed. King of Cups. I'm going to clarify the court cards here. Okay. I'm going to clarify the court cards because there is a lot of, especially Queen of Cups, King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups. The Tower. So this is a Scorpio woman as I told you. I don't think it's a cancer. I think it's a Scorpio. Okay. King of Wands. The Magician. Capricorn woman. Beware. You're in a third party. And you could be dealing with a strong player. Yeah. Four of Cups. Especially beware if they are rejecting you. Or they are not accepting you. Or they are being a player here. Queen of Wands. Reversed. I think this is a Leo woman. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, Capricorn. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, cheating. Okay. The card which that I came. Uh, was it? Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Cards are flying. Six of Cups. Okay. There is an X here. X in picture. Clarify the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups reversed. Oh, God. Okay. And one more. Judgment. Wow. Clarify the Strength reversed. Page of Cups reversed. And the Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, this is definitely an X that's coming back. Okay. So, I'm going to... I'm. Um, did I tell you that... There was four people. Go check June month reading for Capricorn. I told you there is four uh, energies. Two people are splitting like this and two people are splitting like that. Did I told you like that? That is the energy here. Okay. So this is definitely will resonate for Capricorn and Sagittarius man. That is rejecting an ex that's in their life. And also a partner that they are married to. So what I'm going to tell you like this is, if you are a Capricorn man with fire in your chart, your spouse or your ex-partner you were married to or in a long-term commitment, there is a Ten of Pentacles here on the Queen of Wands. That person, this is a king to the Queen of Wands. So if you have Capricorn in your chart, uh, this could also resonate for Capricorn women dealing with a fire sign, okay? So, if you have Virgo in your chart and Leo in your chart, if you're Leo, Virgo, Casper, or if you have a Virgo, a Taurus and Aries in your chart, Aries, Taurus, Casper, so it's a fire and earth energy here, okay, strongly. This King of Cups is not here in the picture. I'll tell you what is this King of Cups. This person on the Eight of, eight of Swords means that this person is either out of the picture or this person does not know what is happening with this Queen of Cups, okay? So, I'll, I'll clarify this again. So, first we'll finish off with the King of Wands. So, this person is not ready, is as either cheated before with the Queen of Swords here, okay. That is a very Libra and a Scorpio cuspus, very strong here. That is, that with the Ten of Cups here, this is someone that they're emotionally involved with, okay. And the judgment here is this person found out the truth that... This is, this is something that is karmically tied to. This is something that is already in place. This is something that they wish to be together with. Okay, but that is right now in jeopardy because if this person found out the truth that this person was already in a marriage or in a commitment with another person, that could be with a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay, this could be you, you uh, Capricorn woman. This person has another woman. That is the Libra there. Libra Scorpio there and uh, they did not have the courage to accept that their love here because uh, they could be involved uh, they could have cheated on you 
with this person okay you are the ex partner here or someone with a child too if you have a child together or this was a long term situation okay and the reason here and the uh, and the, they are rejecting and they are trying to um, manifest either by rejecting you they are trying to go back to someone or they are rejecting this person because they do not want to they are not ready to take a chance on love uh, love it because they are broke right now they are working on um there could be some financial ties here that they they still need to deal with okay so i'm going to clarify the king of cups here what the does this person doesn't know king of cups here so if you are nine of wands reverse okay that that is trust issues here okay so if you are a queen of pentacles with uh, dealing with the king of wands and if you are a capricorn woman dealing with a water sign this person is out of your picture because um I think there was cheating here. Definitely, if it's a Capricorn man, they cheated with the Libra. If it is a Capricorn woman, you cheated on with this Cancer here. Okay, this person could be your ex, or this person could be your ex. Someone. Let's clarify the Four of Rods. Why are they rejecting? Six of Swords. They are not moving on. Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Yeah. Okay, so if you are a Capricorn woman, you could have cheated on with the King of uh, King of Cups, and if you have fire in your chart and you were married to this person, or if you were, if you were in a relationship with this person, this person feels betrayed because you stepped out of the relationship with the King of Cups, and now this person uh, doesn't know that you have a person an ex here. Okay, clarify the Six of Cups here. The Star reverse hopeless situation. Five of Swords, Five of Swords, yeah, definitely Capricorn, Virgo um, could be tied together or Taurus. Okay, it's an Earth Earth relationship. Earth Earth relationship with Fire in your chart is ending because of cheating. Both the partners cheated. Okay, the woman and the main man both cheated. The man cheated with the. If you are a Capricorn man with Fire in your chart, you cheated with a Libra or a Scorpio here, a water sign. Or a Pisces too, or Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, that is their energy. And if you are um, a, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman with fire in your chart, especially Leo or Aries in your chart, Sag is not here. Sag is the male. Female is Aries and uh, Leo. If you are that, you could have cheated on with the Cancer or a Pisces man here. And uh, you could have gone back, uh, betrayed your uh, Capricorn man or a or a Sag man by cheating on with this King of uh, Cups here. Okay, so that is the energy here for me, for Capricorn. <sighs> Definitely, a long term relationship has come to an end because this situation is no more in line because you have different different partners, and that is why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Definite change for your Capricorns. Seven of Pentacles, okay. Oh, the High Priestess and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely you have to. Uh, you have a third party here. You have a secret woman. You have another woman that you're trying to start a new life with. Okay, after ending a marriage, a long-term commitment with. Maybe you're right now. You're working on your finances. Your finances is not straight. Okay, maybe your investment. Your investment. You don't know where to invest in. Invest or you invested in the wrong person that cost you a lot of money because that spouse could have used you for the money, and they could have cheated on you. Okay, I'm definitely feeling it's a cheating energy, and Capricorn is trying to start new with someone else. I hope this reading resonated for the earth signs here. Thank you.